Good morning from Borrego Springs, California. We're right outside the visitor centers here, the Chamber of Commerce, right off of Palm Canyon. And what a gorgeous day. You know, if I'm out here in Borrego Springs, it's always going to be something fun. We're going to find places uh, to dine here. Uh, and we're here at the Chamber to get a couple of recommendations and suggestions on places to dine in Borrego Springs, California. But I want to walk right in here and let you know this is right off of Palm Canyon near Christmas Circle. Chamber hours are Monday through Friday, 10 to 2 o'clock. And of course, if you're lucky enough, you might have Michael to reach you right out here. How you doing? Great. So we came in here to see Francoise Rhodes, Executive Director of the Chamber, Borrego Springs Chamber of Commerce, also the Visitor Center. Yeah. And in fact, you can just find you at visitborrego.com just to make it simple. Very simple. And uh, we are on Today's California, traveling with Francoise and, of course, Coachella Valley. We're also on YouTube and Twitter. Thank you guys for joining us. If you have any comments at all, let us know anything you'd like to know about Borrego Springs, because I have the executive director right here for you guys to ask these questions now, live or later. We'll definitely check in with them and let us know where you guys are from and uh, where you're viewing from today. So the reason I came in here. Because, you know, it's around lunchtime, a little bit hungry. It is. Well, first of all, so great to have you here, Craig. It's well, thank been a you. while. I know. And, and I'm going to mention one thing. No super bloom, people. <laughs> <laughs> I want to let you know, we've been get, we got calls this morning. We, we haven't had enough rain for a super bloom here in the Borrego Valley. Gosh, so, I forgot about so, that. Know, I know. So what, ha what would have to happen more for... Rain. I mean, like, how much more rain? Is there numbers or anything that you would know of? I mean, you just have to have some downpours. Full day, right, a couple full days of rain. Um, and then if it dries out too quick, that hurts also. So there's a whole, you know, environmental, right. natural phenomenon that happens for a super bloom. Weather. This year, we weather, exactly. <laughs> this year, we haven't had it. So, But we do have flowers popping up all over. Not beds of flowers, but there are the desert flowers that are popping up. So it's beautiful out here in Borrego Springs. Well, it seems like every time I come out to Borrego Springs, you know, what I think about, I go, I go, uh, I leave Palm Desert. Yeah. It takes me about an hour and a half to get out okay. here. I go to the Salton Sea, make a right. That's yeah. what I always say to <laughs> myself. Then I go 27 miles on Seaway and it lands me right here at the heart of Borrego Springs, California. And, you know, it's so cool when you come in, your sign just tells you that you are a, proudly an international dark sky community, which is just another thing, fun fact for people to, to go look on Google and understand what that's all about. First one in the United States, second one in the world. So, wow. And that means that every all the lighting has to be a certain lighting, has to be aimed in a certain direction, can only be so bright. So yes, that is a huge undertaking to be an international dark sky community. But we are one here in Borrego Springs and we all are we are also surrounded by the Anza Borrego Desert State Park, 600,000 acres, which really, Craig, in this last two years, more people have come out to Borrego because they've never been here. They've heard about it. It's been quite incredible. Yes. Which is why I came out here today because it's such a beautiful day. The weather's incredible. The season is happening yes. 2022. Yes. And we're coming out here and highlighting some places that are yes. to eat because I'm just simply hungry. And this I said, Francois. Series for you. I'm really excited I'm, about this. This is going to be great. Cool. Today's California. You're going to be out here every month for the next four months, highlighting different parts of Borrego Springs. So excited about this and showing everyone out there what you're missing if you haven't been out to Borrego Springs. So, yes, dining. That's one of the number one questions we get when people call about Borrego Springs. Do we have restaurants? Yes, of course we have restaurants. We have some great restaurants here in Borrego Springs. And what's nice about it, they're not big chain restaurants. They're all individually owned, family owned and operated, which makes them even better. You know, we were talking about uh, just discussing a few of the places that I'm going to have a chance to, mm -hmm. to visit. And uh, some of them are, you know, have new proprietors, new owners. Yes. And you just think about these small owners, uh, you know, these uh, smaller businesses operating in this really fantastic resort, beautiful space and place. And I'm looking forward to just kind of learning their stories a little bit and bringing those to you. And of course, showing you guys the inside of each one of these places. Yeah. And, and fudge shop. Yes. And fudge camp is that delicious. I, I know. I think I'm going, well, I tried to go there first, but uh, I think you put me third <laughs> after I have some food. <laughs> but yes, the story is very nice down here. What has happened in some of the restaurants that you're going to be visiting, Calico's, and Kendall's Cafe, they have the employees, they've been employees for the rest at the restaurant for many, many, many years. And when the owners decided it was time for them to sell, 
they went to their employees first, which is a fabulous story. And the employees bought the restaurants from them. So really nice stories. Like I say, we have no chain restaurants here, zero zip none. And you're going to go and you're going to actually meet the owners. It's just a really, really nice environment that you don't always get at the big chain restaurants. So. Gabriella from Austria. It says greetings and uh, is, oh, look at this. Best eating. You ready for this? Yes. Kitchen for breakfast, red ocotillo. And so Kathleen's so kitchen for breakfast or red ocotillo. red ocotillo. And that's Gabriella. And she's telling you this from Austria. Yes. So well, obviously she's had some experiences out you. here. And uh, Graham Chapel. Cha oh, oh Chapel. How do we say it? Do we know what it is? And and Laura Green from Coachella Valley. Isn't that so nice? Uh, Lisa is also... Uh, talking to us and watching. Thank you guys so much. I can't believe Graham has caught up with us. So you are going to the Red Ocketeer this morning. So or actually it is getting close to noon. So know, you, don't say, you might as well get on your way because you have some great restaurants that you're going to stop and That's visit really cool. and showcase and let everybody know what we have here in Borrego Springs when it comes to dining. And this is just a small portion. Later on, other other episodes craig will be highlighting some of the resorts down here he'll be highlighting some of the golf courses so this is going to be an ongoing story for the next several months i'm excited well good hey graham you'll miss all the action he's coming in july uh -huh. so we'll be out here for the next five months but you just take some notes yes and uh, we'll have you prepared when you come out here it's just fantastic in the summer as well uh, all kinds of things tammy uh, from san diego but she loves abrego yeah. so we all we love you guys for joining in to today's california and uh, kind of our little uh, reunite, yeah, reuniting, and we'll be able to do this every month. So I'm going to be able to look forward to it. Yes. So I only have one of the quick questions. Sure. On Friday, yes. I hear you got something smash bang and happen. There it is. Farmers, farmers market. market. Tell me a little bit about it. Okay. Well, we have a super duper farmers market. Really exciting. We have about 20 vendors, which is very large for smaller communities. And we have fresh pastries, gourmet tamales. We have jewelry. We have, oh my gosh, we have pet grooming, we have produce, fresh produce, so much going on at our farmer's market. It's from 8 a.m. to noon at Christmas Circle Community Park, which is right in the middle of town. You can't miss it. Come on over. Like I say, we have, a, a, we, and it's also, also a pet show. Everybody brings their pets. It's like a pet parade every Friday. Yeah, but it's every Friday until the first Friday in May. That is Mother's Day weekend, and then that's it for us because then it gets too hot. Right out there in Christmas Circle. Right at Christmas Circle. Easy to park. I mean, there's so much room to be able to come out yes. here. And like you said, it's such a family open uh, space and experience yes. too. Which, it's a park. It's a and it's park with just restaurants. fantastic. We have music. Uh, it's just really fun. People gather to socialize, catch up. Do some shopping. Get some. We have fish. We have seafood there. Like I say, jewelry, um, all sorts of uh, handmade items as well. It's just really a lot of fun. So come on out every Friday. Visit Borrego.com. Get a lot of different information. Of course, you can see Francois. Uh, they are open here uh, Monday through Monday to Friday, Friday. from 10 a.m. to 2 every go. day. And, and Gabriella from Austria is coming in March. Awesome. There you go. I got you your first sale. You better stop. <laughs> That's and right. Make sure you say hi, Gabriella. If you, cannot, if you can, we're close. We have our Embrace Borrego guide filled with information. It's free. Pick it up in front or in the back of the chamber. So make sure you get one of these guides before you start trolling around Borrego. has a map of the sculptures in there. Everything. There you go. Laura Green, we yep. just <laughs> were there Saturday night to catch a sunset. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of stargazing, star watching parties from at night, it's a star studded affair every single night. Every wow. Spring. You and I could talk about Borrego Springs for days. Now, that's Borrego Days. Now, that's not now. No, that's in October. Well, that was a lot of fun. Okay, already on the calendar. Very cool. October 22nd, 23rd, you'll be here. I am going to go uh, out and do a little discovery, okay. and I'll come back at you guys, and hopefully we'll put some of this video up uh, for you later to take a look at. So awesome. thank you guys for tuning in, and thank you, Francoise, for everything you do. Yeah, I'll thank talk you. to you again. Okay, Bye. See you all soon. Hello, today's California. This is Craig Campbell for our series on Dime, Borrego Springs. Borrego Springs, California. And you're looking at Christmas Circle right in front of you here. And the first place I am previewing is Red Ocotillo. You cannot miss it. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just amazing when you come on in here. Super accessibility. Uh, this was my go-to place 
Red Acatillo when I was here at Borrego days. Just loved it for breakfast, fresh brewed coffee, and of course you got these different areas to be able to dine. Red Acatillo is coming right through the doors here. Yeah. Open at 7.30 till 8.30. You can check out their information on Facebook and Instagram. Of course, this is Traveler's Choice by TripAdvisor, and it's just a quaint, cute, little space here. Of course, I usually just pony right up to the bar here. It's so easy to get service and like I said, get myself a little fresh brew, uh, coffee that is, and uh, go on out to Borrego Days and have a great time. So if you're coming out here to Borrego Springs, California, this has to be one of your food spots, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And this is one of the reasons why I got this beautiful patio outside as well, just overlooking this fabulous Anza Borrego State Park that surrounds all of Borrego Springs, California, and the surrounding mountains. Come on down, Red Ocotillo, stop number one on where to dine in Borrego Springs, California. Thank you so much. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. Thank you. You bet. Hey, we're now here at Calico's Coffee and Homemade Goods. Of course, it's a fabulous place for pizza. And it is my second stop on Dine, Borrego Springs, California. I am Craig Campbell for todayscalifornia.com and visit borrego.com. And we are here, let me orient you, at the mall. Beautiful day here in Borrego Springs, California, as you would expect in February. And uh, just a gorgeous spot here at the mall, just half a mile from where we were just at, at Red Ocotillo. And uh, this is a fabulous place, open early. And uh, of course, you can also get delivery for pizza a little bit later. So let's go inside. It's got some really fun homemade goods. Maybe get a chance to talk with Mario. Um, he could tell you a little bit more about these incredible pizzas and all the homemade foods that are here. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Closed on Monday. So walk right in here. Just a cute little spot. Just already saw him eating a little bit earlier and the, the sandwiches were just large and uh, just so many wonderful things. When you first walk in here, the smells are incredible. So fresh baked goods and of course the number one thing that they sell is pizza. If you are a hiker and you want to get fueled up in the morning and get some sandwiches going, this would be a place to stop off. You want to have a great breakfast, some quiche, some different items, fresh baked, this will be where you would want to stop off. And of course, you've got sandwiches, ice cream, the pizza, of course, the number one things that they sell, shakes and smoothies, and I'm just reading right off the board here. Uh, and of course, you can bring it in or take it out. Come right out here, of course, and have this beautiful patio to be able to spread out on. Highly recommend it. My second stop, Calico's. For sandwiches, soup, pizza, espresso, desserts, and bakery items. Hey, thank you for joining me at Kendall's Cafe. You can find them online at kendalls.cafe. Find their menus. Open for breakfast and lunch currently, seven to two o'clock every single day. And this is our third stop on Dine Borrego Springs, California. Brought to you by visitborrego.com, visitborrego.com. And uh, we're here at Kendall's Cafe. Right on the other side, we were just over at Calico and we're now on the other side of the mall, on the back side of the mall. In fact, you can 
park uh, out here next to the uh, library or right on the side and come on through here to Kendall's Cafe. Again, just beautiful day out here. All kinds of outdoor seating. And then you just go into these spots and places and this beautiful little coffee shop. And the first thing that hits you is just the smell and just how quaint everything is. And everybody's been so friendly to me. And of course, a lot of uh, outgoing orders at this time. Just a beautiful little coffee shop, diner. Their specials today. Like I said, you can go right on over to their website, Kendall's.cafe, and they have all the menus there and the different times, 7 to 2 o'clock every single day. But it has the different times for lunch and also for breakfast, and you can take a look at some of the different pictures and the things that they have here. And we just wanted to showcase this wonderful spot for you guys here also at the mall. So. Kendall's Cafe. On to our next stop. Hey, this is Craig Campbell, back at it. Bighornfudge.com, at the Fudge Factory right here. You go by Bighornfudge.com and you will see everything that's about to happen inside of this fantastic place here. And of course we are covering Dine in Borrego Springs, California, and sponsored by VisitBorrego.com. And now we're right across from the mall. We just got done at Calico's and uh, came to the other side of the street at the center market here. And here you find this amazing espresso bar, fudge factory, and ice cream parlor. They told me, just talk with Bonnie, her parents started this um, in the 90s, and she took over it 12 years ago. And she tells me one third comes from coffee, one third of her revenue from fudge, and one third from ice cream. Originally started as just a fudge shop, and you can see why the minute you walk in, it smells so good in here. And Bonnie told me that all of this is made right here on site. And uh, in addition to serving the people here in Borrego Springs and all the visitors that come by, this is also delivered to some of the hotels. It used to be at the Del, Hotel Del Coronado until COVID, and I'm sure we're going to restore uh, that relationship soon and so many different things. What is really cool about this fudge shop is the unbelievable different recipes. Here we got peach mango with tahini. Uh, down here, there's the spicy Mexican chocolate. She told me that, wait a minute, it was a mistake. She accidentally mixed jalapeno in with the mint, put it out, and uh, loved what she liked. And it is now a part of what looks like almost 20 to 25 different skews or different recipes of fudge. If you want fudge, this is a place to come. And of course, beautiful espresso machine, get coffee anytime that you would like. Open up early. And Always working and always prepared and always getting stuff done. Oh my gosh, that's the fun right over there. That's the fudge kettle, yeah. So once again, just a beautiful boutique store. Everything that you might need for hiking or after hike or, or just to pick up a few things that are very interesting from Borrego to remember. Old fashioned sodas. so comfortable when you come in a lot of fun little things that you guys can come in and take a look at and of course bagels so much fresh food to be able to take with you Head on out and head to my fifth and final place on today's Dime Borrego Springs, California. Make sure you check out 
visitborrego.com, and of course, bighornfudge.com, which is where we are just walking out of, across from the mall, right after you get done having pizza. At Calico's, you could step across and enjoy some fudge here or pick it up to go, bring it home as a gift. My new favorite spot in Borrego Springs. Hey guys, Craig Campbell again for visitborrego.com and we are featuring Dime in Borrego Springs, California and we're here at stop number five. Carly's very, very popular and uh, well-known space here and it's right on the corner of Christmas Circle and Palm Canyon right in front of me, right where Borrego Days happens, where the farmer's market on Fridays happen and of course it's a park. And this is up Palm Canyon, just a beautiful, beautiful scenery. And right here at Carly's, one of my favorite spots just because of the location, open seven days a week. And when I'm at Borrego Days, this is a place I know I could come in a little bit later or earlier. Both dinner specials and of course they're open, I think at 11 o'clock. Uh, you can go online and take a look. But you can see right here, this is, they got these wonderful specials and the prime rib, the different cuts, everything that's made here is made fresh. And that's what makes this place so popular. So I'm gonna go on in here and see what Andy is up to and see if we can catch him. There he is, right behind the bar. So take a look at this right when you walk in, just this neat open bar. Uh, great place for gatherings to meet people and friends and of course you got a wide open space here pool tables in the back got taps andy hey welcome to carly's what is going on Not craig much. campbell today is california craig pleasure to have you nice to have you too you welcome know to carly's in borrego springs i'm doing a dime for borrego springs california and yeah. we're just highlighting a few different spots and of course we're at Carly. It's such an iconic spot. And I was uh, telling you a little bit earlier when I walked in that, you know, this is one of my go-to places. So I've been covering Borrego Days for like four years. Mm -hmm. So, of course, on my way out, I love to catch a little draft on the way out. I, not on the way out, but a little food. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know, heading back to my hotel room. And you got this incredible menu. You know, I just showed it in the front. Monday through Sunday, every single day, you're cooking up Seven something. Seven days a week. No. Yeah, we... Uh, we pride ourselves on our food. Everything's made fresh. Our beef is all certified Angus. Um, you know, sometimes it takes a little longer, but when you're getting a half pound burger cooked correctly and, you know, letting the juices seal in, it takes a little bit longer, but our food is definitely worth it. And I can see you can pair it with a beautiful uh, wine right yeah. here. You got all kinds of we, different things. The more you look, the more you find in this spot. Absolutely. We, we, we try to make sure we have, because it's a small town, there's so many few so few options we try to make sure that a group of 20 could come in here with all different tastes and desires and we have what you want whether it's food drink whatever and you we got a great bar you know yes. i love the the horseshoe or a rectangular look here super friendly mm -hmm. ability to bring in friends meet people and then of course like you said you have so much room that was spread out here i could see this definitely for uh, groups meetings people that are on bikes rides all kinds of stuff hiking this yep. is a place that you could meet up easily found right there at Palm Canyon and Christmas Circle. Absolutely, it's it's a great destination. You know, we get people that come out for rides. We have, we have groups, whether car groups or hiking groups or motorcycle groups that come out and they meet at Carly's. They come, come here for a great, uh, great meal and we take care of the large groups and uh, uh, just make them feel, feel at home. It's, it's known throughout uh, our, our tourists and our locals as the cheers of, of Borrego. Everybody how, knows your name, makes you feel welcome. How long have you been running this establishment? Uh, well, Carly's been here since 97. I came on in 2000 working for Carly. And then in 2000, uh, 2010, my wife and I uh, bought the establishment. Wow, unbelievable. So have you seen a lot of change or are things similar in Borrego Springs? Uh, Borrego Springs is... is it, it's one of those really strange places. There are slight changes from time to time, you know, and, and everything, 
the slight changes have been for the better, but at the same time maintaining the, the desert state park around us that, that we're all here for. So as, as the town gets the, you know, a little more beautification to it, we leave the desert alone and let that beauty stand on its own. So if people want to find information about you, do you have a website? Yeah, you can find us at carlysplace.com. And do you also have Facebook and Instagram as well? Absolutely. So you can find them there as well. Uh -huh. And give me your hours. Uh, we are open seven days a week. That's my favorite uh, part. Uh, it started at 11 a.m. Uh, kitchen's open till 9 p.m. And the bar, well, that all depends on how long you want to be here. <laughs> that sounds like a great place to finish it off. So. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love your establishment. I think I'm going to sit down and have myself a little bit of lunch. Sounds like a plan. Right. Thank you, Kurt. Talk to you soon.